In this video, we're going to be taking a look at even more ways to monetize Listing Pro. If you've not checked out our first video on monetization, there'll be a link in the description. The methods we're going to cover in this video include listing claim fee, sponsored hero image, listing ad services, as well as some other less known creative methods. This is our fifth video in the Listing Pro series. If you haven't checked out the other four, there'll be a playlist at the end of the video. And just before we get started, I'd just like to thank everyone that's watched and liked our last couple of videos. If you give this video a thumbs up and quietly click that subscribe button, that would be amazing. Now let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at how you can bring in some extra dollars by charging a claim listing fee. A business owner may choose to pay to claim the listing because you've imported it, you've set it up, and it's had some traffic, there's some reviews on it, they've chosen to, to claim it. So in order to claim a listing fee, which is not related to the ad listing fee, what you need to do is go to your ad listing fees or your other pricing plans, click on edit, and just make sure that you've separated the listing and the claim plan. So for this one here in the previous videos, it was set to both, but now I'm gonna update it to be listing only. Press update. We'll go back to pricing plans. And what you can do from here is up the top, there's add a new pricing plan. So I've just added a new pricing plan for claim listing. Let's take a look at it. Click edit. And you'll see here that I've created this plan for claim only. And it has similar things to the, to the free plan on what you get, just the basics. Further down, you can see that I've added a price of $46, and that's indefinitely. So there is no, there is no timeline on this, but it's just $46 plus GST to claim the listing. Now, let's say we wanted to add a basic claim listing fee. We had some more features that were going to be provided. We can just go in here and add add new price plan. And we will say that this is for claim only. We will go down here and enable everything. And then we'll just turn some of them off just for, for this example. And we'll turn these off as well. Okay. And in here, we will add back this one and hit publish. And before I forget, I will add, say, $90. And for this one here, we'll put it on an annual basis. So 365. So let's just... Add this back again, update. We can come back over here and just refresh. Come down to here, we'll hit this one again and claim listing now we should have two. And here we go. So you can go the $99 or the claim one. I didn't give this one a title. We can just fix that now. Basic plan, update, refresh. And now if we claim, there's our, there's our two to choose from. So this is a nice quick one. What you can do here is sell the rights to the home page image. In this situation, a listing owner may agree to pay X dollars per month to have their image on the home page. And also they get a link here that takes, takes the user to the listing if they click it. And to do this, we just go back to the admin panel, click on themes, options, banner, scroll down. The listing owner can provide an image and then you just simply upload that. You enable the courtesy listing link on and you add their listing ID here. The website opens up. This is their image. You get a little link here. In this case, I've put Nexus in. And if the user clicks it, it goes off to that listing. You may charge a small fee per month or, you know, depending on how big your directory is, this is a great way of generating some extra income. Okay, now let's take a look at how we can add some additional services to our premium plans to incentivize the listing owners to you know, select the basic or the premium. To do this, let's head over to pricing plans. And what we're gonna do is we'll edit the premium one and we're going to add SEO services to, to be included in the premium package. So we'll click edit. We've got this set to listing only. So just here, we'll just add in a little bit of code and the text we're after. So website SEO audit add this one back because it comes off every time. I've updated the, the color here just so it stands out a bit different so you can see where I've added it. All we need to do now is hit update. So rather than just going with what Listing Pro provides here, depending on your skill set, you may have other services that you can add and charge a premium 
for those in the premium listings and incentivize those owners to, to upgrade to the higher plans. So we'll just do a quick refresh here. Now, if we hit add listing, we can take a look. And here you go. So we've added website SEO audit. And it's just another way of adding some more value to the premium plans and trying to incentivize those owners to upgrade. Okay, let's get creative. There are some other ways which you can generate income from Listing Pro. For unclaimed listings, it's quite possible that leads can be collected in relation to that business. Now, with these leads, you have a couple of options as you are the listing owner in the system. These leads are gonna arrive in your inbox. From there, you could pass them on to the listing owner for no charge, or you might contact the listing owner, encourage them to claim the listing for a fee as the listing is attracting many valuable inquiries that they're missing out on. So with the leads, there are some considerations around what you do with them if they're unclaimed, but certainly there is an opportunity to generate additional income either by a fee or maybe selling those leads if that's the right thing to do. The next area to quickly take a look at is advertising using Google AdSense or affiliate marketing. We did take a look at this in the previous video, but we only put ads where the listing pro out of the box places these ads. You can actually put these ads anywhere on your site. For example, you can actually add a section on your home page by adding a HTML block. If we wanted to add something just above the footer, we would go to the edit the home page with Elementor add custom HTML block, then paste in our affiliate or Google AdSense code. Hit apply, then head over to our site, do a refresh and you're done. There it is, simple as that. You can also add the ads to the side of your site or in other places using the standard WordPress widgets. To do this, just go to the admin menu, then appearance, then widgets. If you want to add an affiliate banner or a block style ad to the listing detail sidebar, we just add the custom HTML widget and paste our code. Save, then do a refresh on our site, and there you have it. It's done. If anyone has some other ideas or methods that they use to generate income using Listing Pro, it would be great to hear about it. If you've got any other questions about this video, just drop a note in the comments and I'll try to come back to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.